can you kind of describe what you've seen as far as his demeanor since he's joined your team? Um, I don't know. He's, uh, uh, I think he's very competitive. Uh, he's a good guy. Um, he's about, about winning. Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, he's kind of a low key guy, but he's competitive during the games. Um, I don't know. Good sense of humor. Fun to be around. Aaron Fentress, the Oregonian. Coach, how often would you expect to win a playoff game with Lillard going one for 10? <laughs> uh, you know, he had a tough shooting night, but I didn't, uh, I thought he didn't let it affect his play. You know, it was, uh, he still got 10 assists. I mean, that's the third game now that he's had double figure assists. He almost had four games. So, um, you know, we, you know, he's going to shoot the ball better, but I like the way he still, he managed the game and the way he defended. He was great in the huddles, um, so we needed all that as well. After game three, you talked about three-point shooting, obviously, and then matching their aggression. Do you feel you accomplished what you wanted to accomplish in those interests, those areas today? Excuse me. Well, uh, we did shoot the ball better. We didn't shoot it great, but we shot the ball better. Um, I thought we were, I thought we were pretty good defensively throughout the game. Uh, very consistent with our effort and our coverages, uh, communication. So. I didn't think we had as many breakdowns. Um, so I forget the other part of your question, but. Uh, it was combined. Yeah. You covered it. <laughs> Thanks. Dwight Chains, NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, it appeared almost that you came out looking to get Norman involved early. Was that just the way it worked out or did you have that intent? And he had not probably, I mean, for a guy shooting as well as he was in the first three games, he probably, you know, he didn't have a lot of opportunities, it seemed. So how did you feel about the way you got him the ball tonight, for one thing? Um, I thought we found him in the corners. You know, we ran a couple plays for him, but a lot of his was in the flow. His three-point shots were, you know, in the flow of the game. Uh, I thought we made good reads uh, in just our flow, making the right decisions and passing. He was the beneficiary of it. Um, but you know he has he hasn't really shot the three well uh, in the first three games, and it was good to see him have a, a breakout game shooting the three. AJ McCord, coin. Coach, obviously you guys broke this one open in the third quarter, but it felt like the tone was set from the opening tip off. How critical, like how much did you emphasize the need to do that in a game four like today? Well, uh, to be honest, in game three we came out with the same same aggression, same attitude. Uh, so I think both games three and four, we came out with um, good aggressiveness and, uh, you know, just kind of didn't sustain it in at the end of the first quarter in game three. But uh, tonight, uh, like I said, our consistency with our effort uh, was, uh, was part of it. But, you know, we came out the way we needed to and sustained it. Christo Saltes, Sport DNA. Coach, did you notice that the, the tonight's effort was one of the best defensive efforts of the season for your team? Um, I don't know. Uh, you'd have to go. I'd have to go through and see um, see some other games. We've. Uh, I think I was asked that before. We we have had some good defensive games, uh, but to have it in have it in the playoffs against a, a team like Denver uh, is probably a little bit better. Coming back to Aaron Fentress, the Oregonian. What did you think you got out of Ronde tonight? Uh, what we expected, what we needed. You know, good defensive energy. Um, you know, we got put back. Uh, the fact that he's out there guarding uh, their playmakers, he's guarding Morris a lot, so we were able to switch pick and rolls uh, with Rocco and, and Mello. So uh, I thought with that, that lineup for them had, had given us trouble in the first three games. So I thought, uh, you know, I thought – it it helped. Is this I a situation? He, I thought he helped. Is this a, is this a situation where you would go to Ennis and say, "Hey, we're probably going to make this move, and you might not play tonight," or is it just how it worked out? Uh, no, I told Ennis to be ready. I I didn't know how how the game was going to go, uh, and just to be ready. If Nurk got in foul trouble, which um, you know I think was one of the keys in the game, was that Nurk was able to stay uh, stay out of foul trouble and match his minutes with Jokic, but. Uh, look, we're going to need Ennis again, uh, but that's the way it worked out tonight. Thanks. Maria with TAB Deportes. 
Hi coach, congrats for the win. Hope you're well as well. Um, what were the major adjustments that you felt your players managed to execute this evening compared to the last two games, especially? Uh, well, we changed our pick and roll coverage a little bit um, and uh, tried to stay stay body on body a little bit more. And uh, like I said, our, our switching with that second group, our switching was, I thought, was effective as well. Um, and they didn't, uh, I don't think they got uh, the same look, even though they got uh, 44 threes up, I don't think they were the same quality of looks. Jason Quick, The Athletic. Coach, I thought Nurk was really key for you guys tonight. Can you speak to what he gave you on both ends? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, he played good defense uh, on Jokic, and he stayed out of foul trouble. You know, that's uh, that was key. Uh, we're obviously better when when Nurk's able to stay on the floor, uh, especially against against Denver. So, um, you know, the offense comes and goes. Uh, he gets his opportunities, but I thought he really locked in defensively. Um, and was solid, didn't gamble very much. Um, and like I said, defended without fouling. Ryan Clark, Portland Tribune. Coach, uh, could you speak maybe to Nurk's familiarity with no with Jokic and how it contributed to his uh, ability to lock him down during some stretches tonight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, that's, I think Nurk would be better better to ask that than me. Uh, I mean, he's, it's been a long time since he's been in Denver. Um, so I think he knows, I think he knows him as well as uh, other players around the league. Um, I don't know how much that impacted or not, but it certainly didn't hurt. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio. Hi coach, Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Coach, how important was for the team, especially on the defense, that Joseph Nurkic stayed out of foul trouble today? It was, it was, uh, I mean, it was the key to our defense. Um, you know, to be able to match his minutes uh, with Jokic, and they were on the court uh, the entire time together. I think that was one of our defensive keys, without question. 